we're going to be talking about baking soda. Ignore the container. I actually take baking soda every single day because I have an auto-inflammatory disease. And there's a wonderful paper. If anyone has an auto-inflammatory disease and is curious, put it in the comments. I'll give you the link to the paper. It's fantastic. So baking soda, right, for sensitive skin. Allergen or not an allergen? Not an allergen. And why do people use it for sensitive skin? They use it because it's, uh, um, it's very soothing on the skin. It uh, changes the pH actually from the normal that is acidic mm. to basic. And yet what it does for me in particular, because I see a, pa a lot of patients with crusty, thick psoriasis, blotches and plaques and all of that, it softens. Right. Uh, the, these uh, scales and thick crusts softens it very, very nicely, smooths it down. Very often, for instance, a patient with generalized uh, dermatitis um, with the crusts and scabs and all, I will put in the bathtub at the clinic and with the baking soda in it. And uh, they come out so happy because after that, the, ner the nurse then applies uh, virgin coconut oil and the petroleum jelly, the petrolatum we were talking about, they come out of that feeling so wonderfully good. Then in addition, I can expose them to ultraviolet light for a few seconds. Uh, mm. That's or, or called bath puva. It's called bath puva, it's fantastic. It's for, a, for me, it's the better kind of uh, phototherapy yeah. because it attends to the nursing care of that damaged and sensitive, painful, very itchy skin. Isn't there a concern of toxicity with baking soda? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Okay. So this careful, is important, right? right? It's not for everybody and you don't don't pour like a jug of this right. in your bath and soak in it. Yeah. You, you, you shouldn't be using it daily anyway. Right. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So you can soak in it but like how much of it in a soak, let's say? Uh, in our bathtub, which is about um, 15 well, say gallons. A typical, a typical bathtub. Yeah. Okay. A typical bathtub is about 15, 15 I don't 15. know. But, but let's say uh, in a typical bathtub. We have a big round bathtub. bathtub, so it's about 15 gallons. I, I hope I'm right, you know. Mm -hmm. And we don't fill it up to the brim like we would, you know, take a, a, a tub bath. Just about six inches or okay. a little bit more. So it's like a sits body. bath almost, a little yeah. more. It's not so that you're up to here with your suds. Mm -hmm. It's it's just enough so you can soak the skin, particularly the affected lesions. But how much baking soda would I you I then use? add one cup to two cups of baking soda. Cups. Under that. Yes. Okay. So eight ounces, yes. right? Okay. Uh, if you're really interested, text me and I will uh, be very sure about the numbers. Okay. So um, but what is, what is the risk of toxicity? Too much of it or is it a particular type of health condition where I shouldn't use it? Yeah, it has something to do with the kidneys perhaps, ah, and the okay. sodium that is after okay. it is, you know. So there are comorbidities, so salt. if you are looking at the possibility of doing a baking soda soak for your psoriasis or atopic dermatitis, make sure you, you give your doctor, your dermatologist, your full medical history, right. including things like renal issues, etc., because there are certain things to look out for that are contraindicated. Or drugs that you're taking that may affect the electrolyte balance of there your you body. You should be more careful with that.